Hello, this is Peter with another video. Today I thought I'd do an update on my yuzu tree, which is uh, it's meant to be a, a fairly hardy citrus tree. Um, now I got this, I think it was back in maybe 2022, I think it was around autumn 2022. I'd have to check back to make sure. Um, but yeah, it's uh, when I first got it, it was struggling. Um, and I ended up bare rooting it and putting it in this 511 type mix. Um, and to be honest, it didn't do a whole lot last year, uh, but this year, as you can see, it has actually exploded into growth. Um, I didn't quite realise how much it had grown. Um, that's because it was actually squashed in a corner with some other plants, so I had to move it out to uh, actually be able to film it properly. Um, but yeah can see it's actually pushed out a load of new growth this year. Um, I've not had a single flower yet. Uh, no signs of any flowers on it. I um, was hoping it might have at least tried to flower this year even if it didn't set any fruit. I would have been happy to see it at least trying to flower. But yeah I'm very glad it's um, nice and healthy at the moment. Um, I've been trying to fertilise it regularly um, not quite as often as I probably should have um, but yeah I have been fertilizing the citrus I'll try my best to keep on top of the fertilizing um, and yeah that does seem to have helped and uh, put out all this extra growth I'm probably gonna have to give it a little bit of a prune especially on this side of the tree um, I like my trees to be symmetrical um, but yeah this one's definitely growing more on this side than it is on this side. I'll probably prune a couple of these branches back just a little bit, uh, maybe this one a little bit as well, just to try and keep them kind of a uh, similar size and shape around the, the plant. Um, now I have been having a go at propagating this tree as well. Um, so you might remember I did graft a yuzu using scion um, scion from this tree. So as you can see on this Ponserus rootstock I did two chip bud grafts um, last year and they both uh, took and they've been pushing out um, although something has been munching on these leaves recently um, not quite sure what, could be slugs, snails, maybe caterpillars um, but yeah it's still healthy at least but definitely something's been uh, yeah, there's probably a slug or snail damage there, eating the stems. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll uh, push past the, the, the pest damage. Um, I've also got a couple of cuttings that I've been rooting as well. Um, and I'll probably actually, when I cut these branches off, I'll probably try and root them as well. As uh, they do seem to root fairly well. Um, I mean citrus are generally not the easiest to root but I've found the yuzu seems to root quite well, quite easily, um, for a citrus anyway. So yeah I'll probably do that with these uh, extra cuttings from this from this tree because um, I'd like a few of these really, um, ideally some that I can plant in the ground uh, and give a little bit of protection in the first few years. Um, so ideally you'd want uh, want it on a hardy rootstock like this Ponserus, um, or on its own roots, where if it dies back uh, pretty much to the ground, it could re sprout and grow back true to type. Uh, because, of course, we don't know what rootstock was used on this tree. Um, it's possible it's a Ponserus or something hardy, but it's also possible it's just a um, some kind of vigorous and less hardy rootstock which is commonly used in uh, the Mediterranean. I'll definitely do some more updates um, on this tree throughout the year uh, as I know it's it's one that a lot of people are quite interested in seeing how we get on with it here in the UK. So yeah if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and I'll be sure to keep you all up to date with how this usually does as well as all my other plants. So yeah thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.